My dear friends, welcome to Raj Shekhar classes on Applied Data Science with Python. This is lecture number 71. In this lecture, I will continue my discussion on mean and median. In last class, we were working with particular data file which is downloaded from Kaggle database. Same data file I uploaded in my Google site. If you want, you can go through my site and download that particular file. Anyway, it is freely downloadable file. Just go to Kaggle website and download it and try to work on that particular file. Same story which I discussed in my last lecture 500 underscore person underscore gender underscore height, height underscore weight underscore index dot csv. There is a file. Uh, that file I, I am reading with the with the help of pd dot read underscore csv. Just I am displaying first five rows. That's uh, that's what it says. Uh, what it says height underscore weight underscore data uh, dot head of five means it's displaying first five rows zero one two three four, isn't it? Now what I am doing here uh, height underscore weight underscore data drop index. This already discussed. I discussed in my previous lecture. Just I am dropping this uh, index column just see this is the index column as i don't want this particular column anyway i'm not going to work on that particular column i dropped that one even if you want you can check whether it is dropped or not how can i check just data frame name is height underscore weight underscore data dot shape dot shape means it will give 500 rows and three columns means uh, actually originally there are four columns so gender is one height is two weight is three index is four but now as we dropped index column there are there are three columns only gender height weight isn't it therefore that shape means there are 500 rows and three columns just i am collecting uh, the what is my data frame name here height underscore weight underscore data in that particular data frame there is a column known as weight column just see there is a column whose name is weight this particular weight column data i am collecting in a variable known as weight just this is this variable name is weight i am collecting weight dot head means it will display first five rows 0 1 2 3 4 this uh, this is uh, not new thing just i am repeating my last class discussion just sorted underscore weight I, I think i need not repeat this also i discussed just refer my previous lecture this is mean this also i discussed how to write um, code for mean on your own you can write your own function instead of built-in function this is median this also I discussed in my previous lecture. Even if you want, you can calculate this one. Just I am calling that function. Nothing more than just it is a it's simply a revision of my previous lecture. Just let me spend few seconds so that we will try to discuss new things today. Just uh, me, while finding median, you must uh, send the data in sorted order. If you don't send data in sorted order, what happens? 79.5 you are getting, but it is not actual median. Why? Because you are you are sending. Uh, unsorted uh, data just if you sorted underscore weight we already sorted if you if you send this one what output will you get just say 106 means in this case your mean is 106 as well as median is also 106 mean and median are coinciding isn't it in my last lecture we drawn a histogram and we checked both are at 106 only now this one also i discussed in my previous lecture how one can draw histogram for uh, mean uh, this is legend isn't it uh, the same story just uh, simply it's a repetition even you can write uh, you can draw histogram for median isn't it this is a median histogram it's not new till now just i repeated just we brushed a uh, few things which we which we discussed in my previous lecture now the interesting thing here is um, i am adding just see male just i am adding how many records male gender is male your height is 205 uh, what it says uh, height is uh, 205 centimeters weight is 460 this is one record isn't it there is, a, there is another record female 202 390 second record female 199 uh, 410 this is another record male 202 390 this is another, there, how many records are we adding 1 2 3 4 5 6 isn't it here some panda set up some records Males and females. Yes, they are in, yes, they are males and females. Both extremely tall and extremely heavy, isn't it? 460 kgs, 390 kgs, 410 kgs means they are extremely heavy. Some of these data points may be 
unrelative or un uh, it's irrelevant you cannot have 490 cages isn't it uh, these points may be uh, 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 unrelative just added as outlier values i can say these are outlier values now just anyway these are this is a syntax pd dot series this is the my record name comma index equal to height underscore height underscore weight underscore data this is my data frame name here just dot columns is a part of syntax anyway we will check how one can add it just see what am i doing here just height underscore weight underscore updated just i am collecting in a, uh, in an object known as height underscore weight underscore updated where height underscore weight underscore uh, data that dot, dot append means what does it mean i am appending which one i am appending this one i am appending which one list of series i am appending just see this is this is list of series. This one I am appending. After appending, just if you want, you can display the tail elements. Height underscore, weight underscore, up, up, uh, updated tail. Tail means what? What happens? Uh, first, let me run this particular code. List, list of series. After that, let me add uh, at the end. Uh, if I add at the end, just say tail means last to five rows you will get. What are the last to five rows? five records this I, I already added six records in those six records i am displaying five five records why because append means it will add to the existing data frame what are the call what what is the data here just see uh, female 202 390 where it is female just see female 202 390 next uh, female 199 410 just see female 199 410 next uh, male 202 390 just see male male 202 390 next uh, which one female 199 410 female 199 410 next last one is what is which one is last one male 200 490 this one is male 200 490 this is the this is style means it will give last five rows i uh, five records i added six records this one is updated one now what we did we added we we appended outlier values to the existing data frame now what i am what i am doing updated underscore weight underscore mean equal to this is my updated data frame height underscore weight underscore updated in which i have weight column for that one i am calculating mean dot mean mean you it's a pandas mean i am i am calling that pandas mean isn't it if you call pandas mean what will it do it will calculate and i am ex, uh, i am i am uh, running the code what's the value you are getting 109 means let's calculate the average weight updated if i calculate what am i getting 109.782 like that i am getting but if you if you remember that original one let me call that original one uh, 106 means what what does it mean there is a difference what does it mean mean is here after adding uh, what values outliers you are getting 109 before adding white outliers your mean value is 106 means i can say mean is sensitive to the outliers isn't it the average has changed the mean has changed so change significantly with the addition of just a few data points just five or six i added six records isn't it the median on the other hand we will try to understand median now we discussed the mean just let me calculate median for updated one what am i getting i am getting 106.5 what does it mean the median on the other hand is not sensitive to the outliers in the data updated median is 106.5 but original median original median is 106 isn't it have you remembered that one yes there means it is slightly uh, affected but whereas uh, mean is uh, affected significantly even this is very simple example you can see how the mean is so much more sensitive to outliers than the median let us uh, try to visualize this one i already discussed this visualization in my last lecture anyway just let me keep mean and median on the same plot just try to understand this one how, how can i say even uh, example you can see how the mean is so much uh, more sensitive to the outliers than the median here i am going to plot a histogram representation of the weights with my updated values which includes outliers 
and I am going to use vertical lines to represent mean of the new data set and median of the new data set. Just observe this output, where is mean and median, just I don't know whether it is visible or not, just there are two lines, yeah there are two lines, but in original case in my previous lecture when we discussed mean and median are coins, uh, they are same, but after adding out layers, mean is separated, I can say, uh, how can I say, you can also see that the vertical lines for mean and median are also separated, isn't it, they are separated, just see, they are separated. The median is close to 106 and 106.5. Just see median 106 uh, and whereas median uh, whereas median is 109 point um, uh, whereas mean is 109.5. Isn't it? Just if you observe this graph, I will repeat. The median is uh, that's what we discussed. Median is 106.5 where mean is 109.5. From this graph, you can understand. And uh, let's go the uh, if, if you just if you uh, if you analyze this one, just see you can find out layers here. Just see this one. This is what out layer. This one is also out layer, isn't it? You can understand this graph uh, anyway. I I discuss the histograms in my data visualization classes extensively. Maybe if I repeat same concept again, again, again and again, you may feel a little bit bored. Uh, let me proceed further. Even I discussed few points about SciPy. Uh, uh, I, I told you I will uh, I will spend a lot of time on SciPy. Why? Because in machine learning algorithms, we will use SciPy extensively. Uh, briefly, I can say SciPy is an extremely popular library for scientific computing and it has been around since 2001. It's built, it is built on top of the NumPy library for the multi-dimensional arrays. You will see that very often, if you want to perform an operation using SciPy, you will just use NumPy directly. SciPy offers a range of utilities for all kinds of mathematics and scientific computing for optimization, signal processing, numerical integration, Differential equation solvers, even faster Fourier transforms can be solved. Isn't it? You just see here, just let me import SciPy as sp uh, mean underscore sp dot mean. Where is, where is this height underscore weight underscore data? Just see how can I calculate this mean? Just I am calling that one what you are getting 106. Isn't it? You can calculate with the help of SciPy also. You can calculate with NumPy. You can calculate, you can write your own function. Isn't it? There are different ways you can calculate by using data frame concept. Just I am calculating median. Yes, just sp dot median. sp is alias for SciPy. Still I am getting 106. Uh, isn't it? There is something like stats models. Stats models are widely used when you perform hypothesis testing such as t-test, uh, ANOVA, other statistical text, uh, text, tests are also supported. Stats models also allows us to perform regression analysis and how to check multivariate and bivariate relationships in your data. I will discuss, I will spend a lot of time on these stats models. Time being just understand these stat models are also useful for finding mean. Just it's, uh, uh, just it's, uh, it's, it's straightforward, anybody can understand, 106.0 you are getting. Uh, just go through this concept, so just uh, try to understand how outliers are affecting uh, in on mean and median. If you have any, just, if you have any difficult, just keep a comment so that we will try to discuss. Uh, if you need data file, either go to Kaggle website or you can see my Google site. Thank you very much.